Hey guys, I'm Saurav. Welcome to the channel. Today in this video, I'm going to talk about focus stacking. Now, you might have realized that the t-shirt is also related to focusing. And the good news is, I'm soon going to release my merchandise. If you're watching this video after the last week of October 2020, you can click on the link in the description below and buy the merchandise. If you're watching it before that, don't worry, the merchandise is going to come soon. Talking about today's video, as I said, we are going to talk about focus stacking. Now, what is focus stacking? Basic concept is focusing on different areas and stacking, meaning combining those images in post-processing. But how to do it, why to do it, that's what I'm going to cover in today's video. It's going to be a super fun and an informative video. So without wasting any time, let's get started. If there are multiple subjects in a frame at different planes, everything won't be in focus if you're using a wider aperture. As you start using a smaller aperture, the depth of field increases and you start getting more things in focus. So, if you want everything in focus, just use a very small aperture, something like a f16 or f22 and the problem is solved, right? Wrong. When you start using apertures smaller than f10, like f14, f16, f22, the sharpness of the lens tends to reduce. Every lens has a sweet spot and after that, the sharpness reduces gradually. So even if at f22 everything is in focus, because the sharpness has reduced, the quality is affected. In low light situations, using a smaller aperture every time is not an ideal situation. We want everything to be in focus, but we also want optimum image quality. For that, the solution is obviously focus stacking. This process involves two major steps, shooting and editing. Let's shoot some images first. I'm shooting a landscape here and I have a foreground, midground and background. One thing that you should keep in mind is to always use a tripod because we are going to shoot multiple images and we want them to be perfectly aligned. I'm in manual mode, I don't want my settings to change. I focus on the foreground, take the image. Same with the midground and background. There is no rule on how many number of images you have to take. It depends on the situation. For this one, I took three images, but sometimes even two is enough. Sometimes you might even need to shoot more than 10, 20 images depending on the situation. And a lot of macro and product photographers do that. Let's shoot some macro stuff. Here I'm dealing with extremely tiny objects and the depth of field is too less since I'm using a macro lens. So to get everything in focus, I have to click a lot of images. A lot of professional photographers even click more than 100 images to get the whole image in focus. The idea is the same. I'm shifting the focus manually just by a bit and clicking multiple images. More the number of images, more flexibility you will get in post-processing. Now I have my images, it's time to edit them. But before that, it's time to give a shout out to the sponsors of the video and that is Skillshare. Skillshare is something that I use on a daily basis. It's an online learning community where you can learn a lot of things. You want to learn photography, filmmaking, designing, music, Skillshare is the place to go. They have a lot of courses for each and every field. I joined this course by Chris Burkhardt, who is one of my favorite photographers and he shares some really good tips about shooting in different conditions. I really, really enjoyed this course. The good news is for the first thousand people to click on the link in the description gets a free trial of Skillshare Premium Membership. And if you're taking a yearly subscription, you're just paying less than $10 a month, that's less than 800 Indian rupees. And the best thing is you get unlimited access to all the classes. I have joined a lot of courses till now and I've upgraded my skills. If you want to do so, I would definitely recommend Skillshare. Again, the link is in the description. Talking about editing, first, I'm going to do my base adjustments in Lightroom to a single image and sync it with the other images and then right click, edit in, open as layers in Photoshop. Even if I used a tripod, you will see the images are not perfectly aligned and that is due to the focus shift. So the first thing we are going to do is align them. Select the layers, edit, auto align layers, use auto as the projection. This is a very simple example with two images, one for the foreground and one for the background. So I'm just going to use a simple gradual mask and mask the foreground into the base image. The selection doesn't have to be very accurate, so using a gradual filters works in this case. 
For the second example, the product shoot we did, the masking process is not as straightforward as before. If you do the masking manually, it's going to take a hell lot of a time and it won't be easy. But the good thing is you don't have to do it manually. Here I have all my images. I will align them first and then go to edit or to blend layers, stack images and only select the seamless tones and colors and click on OK. It will take some time depending on the number of images and Photoshop is usually very smart to determine what exactly is in focus and will only use that part. You can also later make manual adjustments to the mask if needed. To add some more sharpness, I'm going to use a high pass filter, change the blending mode to overlay and use masking to paint the areas I want to be sharpened. That's it from this video guys. I know this was a slightly advanced technique, but if you use this technique in right situations, you can create amazing high quality detailed images. I hope you find this video helpful and if you did, press the like button. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe to the channel and also if you're interested in the merch, again the link is in the description. I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Bye.